your eyes, see the white light, open up wide, come inside, haven't you heard? So I started this journey, um, I was, my parents died when I was young and I uh, lived with my aunt and I feel some parallels with John Lennon because uh, his parents died when he was young and his aunt took him in. I used to meditate in my aunt's room, I'd listen to the doors, I'd listen to John Lennon and I had this it's weird. I started doing these affirmations. I really believe that you could actualize, and this is as a teenager, um, I had a very tragic childhood. Uh, so I really wanted to just manifest this rock and roll journey. And I used to meditate on the word love. And for me, the love was always my mantra. Then I realized that you can change your whole life view. This is how I decided to come to New York, play rock and roll. I, um, I'm just getting a, a, a semi-major record deal now, later in life. But I really think it, that this is my time in terms of, you know, I found my calling, which I think is, and, and I can cop to being, I'm a rock singer, I'm a rock musician, I'm a poet. I'm all these things, but they're vehicles, and I think I've, feel more, uh, I feel that I'm more of a spiritual teacher and spiritual healer, and I'm using rock and roll and poetry and all these mediums. It's just so nice because these things are all coinciding, and it just teaches me that this Reiki thing is real because my master teacher told me, when you start doing healings, if you're open to it, magical things can happen. And I don't mean like you win the lottery. Um, and I don't think I was as, as, as successful until now because I didn't know my true calling. This album that's actually coming out was recorded by Daniel Ray a while ago, and these are songs I've written all my life. Rock and Roll Takes the Pain Away is more recent, uh, but if you take a song like The Word, uh, the opening lines are, Open your eyes, see the white light, that's right, right back to Reiki. And I, I wrote that just subconsciously. I'll, I've always been playing. Uh, I have a full-time band. We play Bowery Electric, but we're, we're sort of regulars there. So I'm really hoping we do our record release party by the time the, the weather gets warm. But we're, we're writing new songs. I'm already seeing the next album. What's so great is that I'm getting these songs out, and now I can go to the next level. So all through this journey, healing has been involved. And now I realize I'm part of something much bigger. I'm actually finishing my memoirs. Michael Imperioli wrote a foreword to my memoirs, and it's, such, it's so great, because um, it's so, he talks about me being one of the gypsy angels that'll die doing rock and roll, and, and it's really true. So I came to a psychic fair here. I I've al al always been sort of a natural healer, and I have a natural psychic ability since I was a teenager. I asked, I said, I want to go into a new direction in my life. You know, I didn't say exactly healing, but I want to go into a new direction. Um, and of course music, but something else. I feel like I have a higher calling. And it still was very profound because I got the Five of Cups, and the Five of Cups is three cups down and two in the distance. So I was told, well, you're going through a little bad time. Three cups are down, but there's two in the distance, which is your future. So up the road, things are going to happen for you, but not now. And then I got the hermit card. And I was told you have to chill out, go into solitude, and go into sanctuary. And I was like, what? Because <laughs> you know? Every, you know, everything you want, you want now. And when you go to a tower reading, you go to a Reiki set, you want... But these things manifest over time. And um, the hermit card... A few months after that, I had to go into solitude because the pandemic happened. And when the pandemic happened, I sat down and I studied Reiki. Now I'm doing this professionally, and I do help people. I 
was in a very serious uh, bike accident where I almost lost my foot. And by doing Reiki on myself and others, that wound healed. I found a doctor named Faith where no doctor over three month period could help me. No surgeon would help me. And she really knew how to heal that necrotic wound. And that's the thing about Reiki. It's not like when you imagine and you picture the white light healing a particular particular area of the body, it's not like it happens like magic, but it manifests. And if you believe it, it will manifest. It may take time. But I don't sweat the little stuff because I really, I really trust the universal life force. It carries us. It's what brought us together, you know, meaning, you know, you, you two. Um, but this whole audience, everybody that's seeing me, it is real. And let me speak about Quest real quick. So I'm here every Friday at Quest Bookshop. We have psychic fairs every couple months. Uh, Lynn Trotman runs this place and she's fabulous. Um, and we're doing the interview from, um, from the Quest Bookshop. This is the lecture hall, but this is my Reiki studio. This is where I work on Friday, Fridays. And I didn't want to forget to mention that. Um, I want my legacy to be that, you know, I've brought my unique spiritual message to other people. On a small scale, large scale, doesn't m matter because that's our real, everybody's real purpose. You know, it's just we're part of something much bigger. Mm -hmm.